Hey everybody, it's Terrence West Tennessee Canine and Peace Love and Dog Training. I want to shoot this quick video to tell you about the number one thing that causes problems with dogs. The things that we see the most uh, that cause problems for dogs now and in the future. Uh, that is lack of confidence. People not getting their dogs out. Uh, most of the dogs that come to us have confidence issues. They haven't been around much. You know, we get dogs and we have these plans to take them out. Uh, then life happens and we just don't. Uh, so we don't get them around a lot of stuff except our family. So anything that the dog doesn't understand, the dog reacts to. And so we're walking through life. The dog says, wait, I don't know what that is. It would be a garbage can or a person or another dog or a car. It doesn't matter. The dog looks at that and says, I don't understand it. And then they start using that mouth to make things go away. They start with the bark and growls and teeth and eventually the bite. Now, the more they do it, uh, the more confident they become. The more confident they, they become, the more they do it. So the, the biggest tip I can give you is to get your dogs out. Get your dogs out in public. Get your dogs out around people young. When they're puppies, you can take them you know, virtually anywhere. People don't mind you bringing your, your cute puppy into stores and, and different places. Let people pet them. Let people love on them. You know, Get them used to being handled. Now in the future, as dogs get older, we will start to you know rein that in a little bit where you know people can't pet, pet them as much and touch them as much. And that's just because we don't want of uh, the dog seeking that affection. You know, it, it, it kind of foils everything that we do if a dog is seeking affection um, as opposed to listening to us. But as they're little, get them as many places as you can. Uh, sight, sound, smells, textures, you know, uh, loud noises. If, if, you know, you wanna make sure they're good with storms, like get them out in the rain, walk them in the rain. A huge tip there. If you if you want the dogs to go out to the bathroom in the rain, you want to, the dogs to be able to function in the rain and not be terrified. Then when it rains, get them out. Get them out in the rain. It really is that simple. Whatever they become used to in the routine is the things they can thrive with. The things they don't understand are the things they object to.